another day, another evening, or another morning, wherever you, whoever you are, from wherever you are listening to me. Yesterday I tackled this very important issue. Actually, the belief I found out that marketing is a tricking people. And a lot of people tend to do that nowadays because, well, at some point it's working, right? People are getting tricked and they learn to trick others and that's the vicious circle. But I've been doing some meditation and awareness and practice. I've been doing... Let's take a step back. There are different types of people. There are kinesthetics, visuals, audio, right? People who are more emotional, and people who are more static, who are looking into numbers, different, person, different personality types, and so on and so forth. I have introvert type. So I tend to look inwards more than outwards. So my own limiting belief is tricking people, where tricking means basically using, scamming, and all the negative you can add to it. So I noticed that that was the thing since I pretty much remember I invested in Ty Lopez's course, and where I learned those tricks I don't really believe it's a scam I believe more it's he delivers his point he delivers what he offers so it's not a scam because a lot of people turn, turn out to say turn up to say that oh it's a scam that Ty Lopez and his social media marketing agency a lot of people made a lot of money but I found out that it was missing something. It was missing the mindset. Because you got tools, Style of has brought multiple way, multiple people around and gave him some topics, bam. You can learn Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook ads and funnels, how to sell, go into um, email marketing and so on. So, it, it was basically a touch and those who were able to connect those touches or I would say uh, more, more accurately puzzles so he deliver bits and bobs those puzzles and I need to learn how to connect them so that was another thing the mindset so I got the mindset I invested in some ovens consulting which is he's going even deeper into the mindset but this, the single problem there is that he goes thoroughly towards paid advertisement and if you don't have as I don't have excuse me the budget for marketing pretty much sucks well, you can do what everybody is doing and send either messages spamming people on their messenger inbox or their LinkedIn inbox, finding out the message, the right messages and eventually someone will sign up, will sign up. So I could teach him as well, send thousands of messages. So they eventually could get clients, <laughs> which is a vicious circle, which is fakeness. It didn't, didn't feel right. We use those tools, those fancy names and ways and funnels and paid traffic and so on and so forth. A lot of people get money there. And again, I'm not demonizing that. I'm just saying that we went towards tricking people. 
to buy stuff. So it kind of removed the idea of helping people, but instead using people base instincts to sell the crop they need, don't need. Because there are a lot of things sold there which people, what people don't really need. And I kind of knew that and kind of didn't know that. The problem was that I had that sensations, that resistance inside of me towards that. So I kept going because I've been taught to go, keep going without realizing that thing is backfiring on me. I believe of tricking people. So today I wanted to really go deeper as I'm going right now. At least I'm working out how to. Because it's all the process. It's my process of self-discovery. Hopefully to inspire your own thoughts that is possible for a person uh, with depth and disability, disabled, well, and partner with plenty of disabilities. I'm not going to go, I'm not going to go deeper uh, here into that. Getting back to the shop, I recalled myself an interesting story from very early time when I primarily joined Ty Lopez's MMA, and then I went to work to library workshop about marketing. And there was a guy, multi six figure, six, seven figure owner, helping hospitals in something. I'm not really sure what was that, but he was the CEO of the seven figure marketing agency. So he gave us the assignment. If you are working on marketing, do the marketing for yourself first. Test all the things on you first. And I just kinda said okay, okay. But then inside of me there was that feeling of I'm not gonna be doing that to myself. From the time point of view, I could tackle that issue right away. So I could avoid plenty of disappointments. As well, disappointments. If I would just tackle that, I wouldn't discovered lessons I got right now so it's it's a journey it took me three years three four years to discover that because I joined about 2016 with the program first three with very few results or little results okay That thing was in back of on back of my mind for a very 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 long time. Whenever I got calls, whenever I was creating any posts, whenever I, do, I was doing any marketing online, I kept having that on back of my mind. You need to find a way to trick people. Hold on a second. I trick people. What does it mean to? And then, whenever they get more hope, even till now, I got people on messengers who are just almost getting ready, and I'm like sabotaging myself not to do so because right now I don't have a bloody clue where I end up. In the very moment, it's fourth of fourth of January. I have completely no clue where I end up with this. I need to completely redesign the way I've been doing my business.
That was that naive idea. Uh, oh, a lot of people fail their first businesses, so so then they will find out. Till they find out the the one. And I said, no, I'm I'm not gonna fail. Look, my idea is legit. People need our services. A lot of people are selling, but a lot of people are tricking people how to trick people and selling how to trick people, so then they can trick people. You get where I'm coming from? That's the marketing we are running right now. Because you need to be doing this, that. You need to say this, that. Build that. Funnels and stack offers and adapt. Okay. That's something which eventually will be of use. the motive behind is that you really care about the other human being helping them find out the answers while they're trying to trick people and at the end of the day yes from the standpoint of a business yes it's for and as noble as it sounds, the idea of helping people, I get that. Don't be naive, there's a lot of people, just, a lot of people don't care about you. Exactly, people don't care about me. The same as they care about you. At the end of the day, we are all selfish beings. And the more, and even having a, partner we don't we care that what our partner gave us so that partner don't give us what we want people tend to leave each other split separate and I'm going more in depth into the idea of start from within Because at the end of the day, we are part of one. Yeah. So as, as you help people, you help yourself. But in order to help people, you need to help yourself first. Because without helping yourself first, you won't be able to help our others. Do you know I mean? If your glass is empty, you won't be able to share with a thirsty person. Simple as that. Simple as that. The glass, you need to be, you need to be Half empty, half full. At least. If it's half full, well, half empty, half full. There's water inside, don't, don't, don't fucking complain, right? It doesn't matter whether it's half full, half empty, seeing positive, negative things. There is a water inside, so some, stop bitching about it. <laughs> Different point of view, isn't it? So, that concept of, of the business structure, I found some exercises of um, finding a way to evaluate my own goals from the P book I'm, I started just recently, today basically. So, is it just another shiny idea? But what is shiny idea? Something which pop up and then you get Wow, hip, super, heavy, super hippie, clappy about it, and just learn it, and then jump to another one. Okay. The concept I'm telling about here is 
Might be another shiny idea, I'm not denying that. But it's worth to give it a go, give it a try. And see what my motive, what my motives are. Because at the end of the day, yes, it's helping turning strangers into potential clients. But there is some strong limiting belief up there. Uh, marketing the way I do is tricking people. So, how to go about it? I was talking to my inner, inner child coach, limiting belief coach. So, I'll be going that more in depth on Monday. So, on Monday, you can expect the episode about it with lessons I learned from within. right now I'm, I'm just blank the way I feel about running business is to document okay hold on a second I'm getting stressed because I'm adding pauses to my podcast which is what somebody might listen instead of really taking the inventory of what within what's within so even that kind of thing helped to pay attention to that to label the emotion so I can be aware of it some tool for you to try so the way I see operating on a business level the marketing is documenting. I heard the idea of Potion Cafe. Might be another shiny idea, or might be something which is more related to me. That's what, but at the end of the day, Coaching Cafe, what is it? It's just talking about coaching. But if I lead somewhere, I will leave it on side, think about it, decide whether I'm gonna be implementing or not. The interesting thing is that I shouldn't share my deepest uh, hidden uh, in- internal dialogues on my Facebook profile. Somebody might see them. Okay. Why is that? Why shouldn't? Oh, because people who know me will see that. I have some sort of an internal dialogue, I'm struggling. Okay, but it's an image. It's an image I'm trying to build. Okay. That's an interesting one. I'm building an image. I build an image I'm worrying to destroy right now. That strong self which was attached to the past. What which was creating what was created in the past. Okay, that image. Well that basically image. I am that noble guy who always is not no reacting emotionally, just acting kind of stoic. Very family guy, very, very good and helpful to others. <laughs> But it's sort of a naive thinking because it's I completely kind of deny my my shadow, my selfishness, my (laughs) 
willingness to become the person I want. The level that I don't even know who I want to become because every time I'm trying to work out my goals, there is some sort of inside and voice or, hold on, that internal dialogue, which is not even my dialogue, which is dialogue of my parent, mom, I believe, just shouting above my right shoulder, uh, look, watch out what you're doing, like, how the heck you could do that, yada, 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 and screaming and shouting, like, I shouldn't do that, I shouldn't do that. I just should be that kind of religious person who is noble and just working 9 to 5 and helpful to people. <laughs> okay. To the level that I stop even the most precious thing I value, which is just running. I value this part because it makes me feel free. And I just can spend time on my own. It's kind of me time. I could probably go deeper and find out that, okay, any belief is limiting belief. So, if something happened to my legs or something, I might be hard and... Uh, it would be hard to deal with that. Okay. okay, just screw it. I'm happy and grateful that I can run right now. In the very moment in the world of podcast episode. And go deeper into that rabbit hole to see where it will lead me. And hopefully inspire you as well. Okay, another thing, being that wise man on the mountain, which is an interesting fact, because I kind of documented stuff and pulls it out and even send people messages but then <laughs> funny enough I send people messenger messages about New Year then asking what their plans are and a lot of people respond with their plans open up and I just silly me and just ignore them it's like another thing when people are opening up and people are giving me too much Information is too easy. I'm just like, oh, that cannot be true. <laughs> cannot be true. It's too easy. Instead of, instead of accepting. Wow. Another belief. Cannot be too easy. Because if it's too easy, I'm just freaking out and finding for it. No, it can't be true. Can't make that money. That can't make money that easy. Can't really build relations with people that easy. But it's a mind. Just a limiting belief. Actually, it can be easy. Because that's how people connect each other. By finding their natural flow of connecting with each other. In my case, I could go even deeper and, and say that, okay, whenever I made the connection when I was a kiddo and I invited some friends what happened was that my mom went to scream on them 
on the left and no one wants to come to me so I've been subconsciously just throwing people away even my full time job my friends I've been putting people off with the energy of the subconscious belief that nobody would want to talk to me because of my parents because of my mom, because of my father they always put work as something much more important didn't really connect they didn't really see a connection between work and between talking to people and building relations that's a powerful insight and didn't see that connection so We went really from tricking people and we kind of discover, okay, I learned that from marketing gurus, teach people to, to trick people to, 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 who tend to teach people, who trick people to buy their stuff, so so they can learn how to trick people and buy their stuff. Simple as that. And then we went to, to another belief. Is that whenever I invited someone or made a connection, either I was so I was so rigid. I kinda of tend to have a message sequence in, in my head. There didn't exist that, that far, but I was reluctant to go even deeper because nobody would like to go deeper into conversation with me and nobody would like to get friends with me. Okay, we can go, we can judge it as a playing, play, playing victim and I should be strong and I should don't care. That's what everybody is doing. Don't care, just grew up, it's past, don't leave us behind. Just screw it. It's no more true. Okay. And here's here's the fact that will sabotage you. Like, okay, I need to force myself and to, to talk to people, to send messages, and to engage, and to really find the strengths and get the time blocks and. All the fancy tools and learn and improve and build better and better and better. Everything a part of talking to my audience. Okay, so we discussed two things, marketing and building connections with people. Marketing, we're going to be discovering more on coaching session with Tommy. And the belief right now, it's really trying to add more to it, but can you can't find words. Just <laughs> Mine is blocking me from discovering through and going deeper because there is no self no guidance from outside, so why should he? It threatens the self image he created for the past twenty five years. Okay. Indeed. Got me. So, they can go deeper and find out, okay, that the reason why parents didn't allow me to talk to others 
I don't want the friends and my the people in my age is because it's because they wanted me to go and help them work so I said it's also what I did I learned how to do more work because I was the patron of the journey just do more work Funny enough, I kept repeating that part and whenever I'm at work and I'm just with people the same similar age kind of just looking for the way out from that emotional behavior, from that emotion, from that the pain like example a couple of weeks ago Sunday dinner all sitting together we got like a group of people from Keshma and I was like oh I need to go and f- forgot to do something at work <laughs> you had your brain you dumbass had your brain Finding the excuses. Okay, another thing to tackle the emotional response. Okay, right now I'm more aware. Right now I see that leads nowhere. Okay, so I understand that. Parents treat you this way, and I understand that it's dialogue for myself, right? To find all the answers to, to deal with. And I understand that parents deal with you this way, and I understand it wasn't easy for you to just looking for the answers online, outside. How you could find them inside if nobody treats you seriously. But right now I treat you seriously. And what you do it makes sense. What you do makes sense, Baba. And I understand that. Uh, some people might want to into your model of world and some people might not understand you but at the end of the day I can be me I allow myself to be me I don't have to be the person who my parents who my parents want me to be because I'm allowed to Always there, supporting you, Pavel. Interesting, interesting. I just did some. Inner child therapy, self therapy on myself, and it helps to relieve the tension, to expose lies. Oh, indeed, expose because that's something. Oh, how what people will, uh, how people will react to that? How people, what people are gonna say about? It? At the end of the day, you are not dependent from, from bad or good opinions of others. You are good enough the way you are. You are good enough the way you are. I understand simple saying that won't help you. Understanding that you are good enough. Because it's all the social media and celebrities tell you that you aren't. So, 
how you can believe that you are. But in fact, you are the best possible version of yourself at the very moment. It's pointless really to wonder and expect other reality than there is now. You can plan, you can set some goals to work, obviously, as a map, at the end of the day, you might end up completely in a different place. But, for example, with creating content in my which is so focused, so not focused, it's not even focused, it's, it's like obsession about recording the perfect video, recording the perfect audio, recording Again, writing a perfect copy. There's no failures. NLP rules. NLP first rule. There's no failure, there's only feedback. Okay? So, if it's not fa- let's open mind for that because it's hard to believe there's no failures. We've been wired to believe that there are failures. I'm saying that there there is no failures. But take a different perspective for a moment. And see that, open your mind for that possibility. That you are your best possible version of the very current moment. Whatever your mind is producing is just imaginary. So you can play with that voice inside of your head, with that internal dialogue. Again, voice inside of your head. Of your head. What the hell are you talking about? I don't have any. You just do cycle. Well, okay. <laughs> Far enough, you'll understand whenever you're gonna be ready. Internal dialogue, I'm talking about. And you know what I'm talking about. Whenever you make a decision, you buy something or no, you have a dialogue. Whenever you, have a, whenever you want to approach the person, you have a dialogue. Should I, should I not? People in depression have a dialogue, people without depression have a dialogue. You can look for multiple reasons. Why is there? There is no point to look for the reason why it's there. The point is to find out that it's there, be aware, it's the first step, so then you can play with that voice. You just, aha! Uh-huh. I shouldn't do that. Maybe I should. <laughs> okay. Going too much on the meta level, we talk that, talk that, most likely we'll talk that, talk about that in the later episodes. For now, I'll just leave, like to leave with the concept of the people who live that believe. Okay, my parents just get get in the middle of people, I couldn't communicate with them, so I stay with that belief. So instead of holding that belief, I can play with that and find out, okay, Pavel, I understand that in the past, you can't okay that way. Don't worry, the parents are not around anymore, so you can be you. Open up. And that takes a lot of vulnerability. And I'm aware that I'm putting myself out here on a podcast on the list where I didn't post nowhere. Subconsciously, I'm just hoping that nobody will fi- ever find out about them. Who knows? I want to open up first in a safe place so that my people will start discovering those podcasts listening it's a 40 minute podcast so I don't expect people to watch but at the end of the day I'm watching people who are doing 2-3 hours 
Okay, so I'm signing off for today, and that was very exciting last time. It's very, very powerful. Probably little arts were little ones different than you can believe, so I can talk to them one after another. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm aware, and eventually I'll become the person I am. The person. Well, here's another one, I'm not gonna be going deeper. I have a feeling of okay, there's. I don't have that conviction because if that conviction comes from self image, if that self image is not really worked out yet, you won't believe that. And if you won't believe that, guess what? It's a foreseen prophecy. It won't happen. Or even if you will, you will screw up things. So, in my case, my homework, self image, staying more with those limiting beliefs being with them, allowing myself uh, to have them, allowing myself to open up, allowing myself for connections to open up, talk to people. I need to finish my uh, project, graphic project for, for a client, which needs to be done basically, which needs to be sent basically tomorrow. <laughs> The printing tomorrow, at the end of the day, uh, and it's almost done. Just need to add a few tweaks. All right, I'm signing off. Thank you for listening to me. Foremost, thank you myself. <laughs> Let's be a little bit selfish. At the end of the day, that podcast is meant to be private. So, thank you, Pavel, for opening up, for being vulnerable. And I'm grateful for today. Maybe that, that's the thing I can add on the next one. Being grateful for what's going on in the beginning. And then deep, deeper, dig deeper into beliefs and start off from the, from the topic of the previous episode. Let's see. Let's see. Can't wait for that. Okay, well done, Papa. <laughs>